Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University. In this video, I will be explaining the Michael Warp Drive Cloak trick. For brevity, I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with what a gate cloak is, with what a line time is, and how to calculate it, that you're familiar with how cloaking devices uh, work, generally speaking, and how micro warp drives work. So the micro warp drive cloak trick is the trick of using an improved cloaking device too and a micro warp drive to come up to a line speed while cloaked. And the way it works, you have the improved cloaking device too. This must be the improved cloaking device too. Specifically, the prototype cripples your sublight velocity too much. So the prototype cripples you to one tenth, the improved only cripples you to one quarter. We need the one quarter. So you have the improved cloaking device too, and you have a micro warp drive, the appropriate size micro warp drive for your type of ship. So one meganewton for frigates and destroyers, ten meganewtons for cruisers, battle cruisers, industrials. You probably know this already. So a micro warp drive and improved cloaking device. So what we're going to do? We're going to jump through a gate. We're going to align to a target and then hit the cloaking device, which multiplies our max velocity by one quarter. We're then going to also hit the micro warp drive, which you only have a couple of seconds to do which, in my case, is going to multiply by s my s max velocity by 7. So a quarter times 7 is 7 quarters. So with the cloaking device and with the micro warp drive, my maximum velocity will go up. All right. As the micro warp drive uh, is about to run out on its first cycle, I cut the cloaking device and I activate the warp command. So again, the sequence of actions is jump, align, cloak, micro warp, wait out the 10 second cycle on the micro warp drive, cut the cloak, go to warp. Let me actually do that. So I'm going to jump. All right, I've jumped through. I'm going to pick a target to warp to. I will say the customs office over there. And a lot a line cloak micro warp. I will tap the micro warp again so it will shut down at the end of the cycle, but it should do that anyway if I'm cloaked. Cut the cloak, go to warp. Warp drive active. Now why does this work? <coughs> In order to go to warp, you must be moving at three quarters of your maximum velocity, whatever your maximum velocity happens to be at that moment, keeping in mind that the cloaking device and the micro warp drive are both affecting this quantity. I align first because I got to break the gate cloak before I do anything else, and besides which, I want to align to wherever it is that I want to head to. As soon as I align that breaks the gate cloak, I activate the improved cloaking device. Activating the improved cloaking device is going to cut my max velocity to one quarter. But whenever you activate a cloaking device, you've got a grace period of a couple of seconds during which you can still activate a, an afterburner or micro warp drive. It's only a couple of seconds. If you wait too long before you try to activate the micro warp or afterburner, then the game's going to throw an error message at you. So the timing on it is very important. Align, cloak, micro warp. If you wait too long to cloak, you're going to get target locked by whatever gate camp you're trying to slip past. They're going to warp scramble you, and because you're locked, you can't cloak. So as soon as you break the gate cloak, you, you've also got to activate your improved cloaking device. But once you've activated the improved cloaking device, you've also got to then hit the micro warp drive. So those three steps have to happen in rapid succession. Align, cloak, micro warp. And let me demonstrate that again. So align, cloak, micro warp. So during that 10 second cycle of the micro warp drive, your velocity is climbing up to about seven quarters of your normal sublight seven quarters to six quarters of your normal sublight speed depending on the mass of your ship and so if for example 
I've got a 143.8 meter per second battleship. So with the micro warp drive and the cloaking device both running, my max velocity is about 250 meters per second. Your max velocity changes instantly, but your real velocity doesn't change instantly. It's going to change gradually in response to whatever factors are affecting it. So when the micro warp drive cuts out, you're also going to cut the cloaking device at the same time. So when I do this again, what you're going to see is that my ship will build up to about 250 meters per second. Uh, and then, you know what, let me talk about it while I'm doing it. Align, cloak, micro warp. My max velocity is 251.3. I'm going to cut the micro warp now. It'll stop at the end of the cycle. And cut the cloak. Go to warp. Warp drive. So once the micro warp drive cut out, I also cut the cloaking device so that my velocity didn't plummet too much. And that means I decloak with pretty good velocity. Uh, I'm well above the 100 meters per second that I need to go into warp. 105 meters per second in my case. It's a very tricky maneuver, and you should practice this a dozen, a couple of dozen times in high security space before you start relying on it in a war or in low or null security. Right. I'm going to do this one more time, and again, the sequence of actions is jump, you wait for the grid to load on the other side, align, cloak, micro warp, rapid succession, wait out the 10 seconds. While you're waiting out the 10 seconds, you may as well tell the micro warp drive to shut down. It's, let me start over. Jump, wait for the grid to load. Align, cloak, micro warp. Cut the micro warp, but it's not going to stop until the end of its cycle. Once the cycle is about to end, decloak warp. So, jump, wait for the grid to load. Select a destination. Align, cloak, micro warp. And I'm using keyboard shortcuts. Cut the micro warp, and you're going to wait out the rest of the 10 second timer. Cut the cloak, go to warp. Alright, if you wait too long to align, your gate cloak is going to drop after 60 seconds. You're going to get locked and scrambled. If you wait too long to cloak after breaking your gate cloak, you're going to get locked and scrambled. Uh, if you wait too long to hit your micro warp drive after you cloak, you won't be able to activate the micro warp drive. You're going to be at a crippled velocity. Most likely, somebody in the gate camp is going to fly within two kilometers of you because they saw where you were la they know you were where you were last seen, and then they're going to force you to decloak once they're within two kilometers. Then they lock and scramble you, or if you drop the cloaking device any on your own, you're going to have to come back up to speed. Uh, once you're cloaked and micro warping. Uh, if you wait too long to drop the cloaking device uh, after the micro warp drive cycle runs out, your speed's going to go from really high to really low. And if you wait too long to decloak, you're going to be well below your normal line speed. And obviously, if you wait too long to go to warp after you cut your cloaking device, you're going to get locked and scrambled. The timing is tricky, but once you have the timing, it works most of the time. You are, however, in trouble if you wind to, if, if you emerge from a wormhole or stargate within two kilometers of something else. You might have problems in that case, because you can't cloak. 
But as long as you didn't emerge from the gate within two kilometers of somebody else, you should be fine. In the meantime, uh, I hope this helps, and thank you for watching.